what is the mood around there? It's interesting. Um, inside the building, it seems very, very football centric. And, and I think, you know, you, you've heard some former players say this a locker room is kind of where you can have these opinions and have these discussions. And it's okay in terms of guys pulling together and doing their jobs because you do have so many people from diverse backgrounds with, with, with different takes on so many things. You know, Torrey Smith, the wide receiver whose locker is about five feet from Kaepernick's, said a lot of things Cap is saying now publicly are things that he said in the locker room. So his, his message was not new to the players who've heard it. So, um, yes, it's created a firestorm, and players are having to answer questions about it, players who, who really didn't want to be – you know, involved in something like this, but they've been mature. And again, I, I don't think there's any hard feelings against Kaepernick, especially watching how other players have interacted with him and vice versa. Steve White's joining me here on the Rich Eisen Show. How much has Harry Edwards been around? Dr. Edwards, um, uh, we just saw a video for our radio audience and for you, Steve, talking to Kaepernick. We've had him on this show. We've invited him to come on this show to talk about this. How, how much you seeing him around there? Uh, we saw him just that one day. As you know, he's a consultant with the 49ers, and yes. I will say that every Niners game I've done in Santa Clara at their stadium and at Candlestick, he's been there. Um, so he's, he's a consultant with the team. Maybe he's not around every day. We know he's a sociology professor, I believe, at Cal. Um, but he was there that one day. Kaepernick said that they, they have spoken you know, before the stance, after the stance. Um, so maybe he's one of the voices – uh, that he consulted, I guess, to educate himself about issues and, and athletes, you know, doing things like this. Uh, we really don't know. But we saw Harry Edwards there just that one day. I believe it was two days ago. So do we know what the metric is of Kaepernick to to for him to keep the temperature taken, for him to either measure his stance or change it? Do we know how this is going to play on from here on out, Steve? Well, here, here's how it's going to play on. Um if he's, if he's on an NFL roster, first off, Thursday night, he's going to be asked about it again after the game because he's playing, he's going to speak, uh, he's going to be asked about, because he says he is not going to stand for the national anthem, so he's going to be asked about this. Um, he's going to talk about it now. If he gets cut, remember the cut's down to 53 after, this, you know, after Thursday's games. If he gets cut, then we'll see if another team picks him up because you know, a lot of folks don't think he can play anymore, first off. Um, but if he gets picked up, he's going to continue to do this. Does a team want to welcome him to do this? And if he doesn't get picked up, will he now use his position because he has thrust himself into the media spotlight? Will he, will he be on CNN? Will he, will he, will he be on BET? Will he go on Fox News? So I, I, this isn't going away no matter, no matter how we, you know, what happens to Kaepernick on the football field with the Niners or with another team or if he gets cut. This issue is not going away. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.